Now I'm going to show you a hematology analyzer from Horiba called ES60. The reason it's called 60 is because it can run 60 samples in one hour. This is a basic analyzer but very nice equipment especially for teaching purposes. So if you open the front door, you can see various reagents being used. One of these is the cleaner, the second one is eosinophix, and then we have basal lice, and the last one is lice bio. Cleaner is an enzymatic solution with proteolytic action for the cleaning of the system. The next reagent is eosinophix. Eosinophix lyses the erythrocytes or red blood cells. It stabilizes the leukocytes in their native forms and stains the eosinophil nuclei with a specific coloration. The chemical reaction is stopped after a predefined time by the diluent. After the reaction step, each cell is measured both in absorbance or cytochemistry and resistivity. The next reagent is basalize. Basalize is a lysing solution and is used for lysing red blood cells for white blood cell counting and differentiation. It breaks down the white cells membranes at the exception of basophils. Size differentiation between basophils and other nuclei leukocytes is done by impedance. And finally lice bio is used to lyse red cells and determine hemoglobin concentration. On this side is the sampling area. A probe comes out from the top. It sucks 30 microliter blood and then goes back. The power button is located on the left side. Because the system is connected with the computer, therefore the next step is to switch on the computer as well. So this is the main screen when you open the program. There are various tabs but the default tab is analyzer as you can see. It shows remaining levels of all the reagents. For example, it can be seen that at the moment, the remaining cleaner is at 81%. Similarly, eosinophix is at 98%, basalize is at 92% and so on. Before we can run blood samples on the hematology analyzer Pentra, it's important to run the controls. And this is the controls pack. If you open it, you can see that there are three different controls. One of them is called high or H. The second one is called normal or N. And the third one is called low or L. Before using Pendra, it's important to run a startup cycle. To run the startup cycle, simply click on the startup button. It takes a while to complete the cycle. So once the cycle is complete, the system is now ready to run the controls. To run the controls, simply click on the QC and calibration. And then on the left side, from the drop down menu, choose the appropriate control. Once you have done it, take the control Mix it well. And place it under the prop. So you can see the prop here. The prop will automatically suck the blood and then goes back. So the first control has been run and the results are on the screen. So after completing the first control, we will run the second and third controls in the same way. So once all these controls have been run, we will be able to see all the data on the screen as you can see it now. So after the controls have been run, we are ready to run our first sample. To run the sample, simply click on Run tab. Mix your blood very well. Put it under the probe. So 
So our first sample has been run and we can see the results on the screen. So this is the screen after the completing of the run. So you can see the various parameters that have been completed, including red blood cell count, hemoglobin concentration, hematocrit, mean cell volume, and other parameters. And on the other side, we can see the white cell differential count, including neutrophil, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophil, and basophil. While on the very right side, we can see the scatter plot, which actually shows the various cells that have been detected. 